Communities living near areas of rich rock art heritage across the country need more sensitization of conserving such sites for future generations, says the Commissioner of Museums and Monuments at the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Jacqueline Nirachiza. Currently, Uganda has about 650 tourism sites, of which 56 sites are of rock paintings, engravings and gongs. We are here with the Uganda Tourism Board uh, to tell the world uh, uh, on the, to explore heritage sites and explore Uganda. And uh, Nyero Rock Art Site is one of the sites which were first gazetted, I told you before, in 1972 in the reign of Idi Amin because of its significance. And we are here to tell people that this is a place that you can visit and learn. Nero rock paintings are some of the oldest known and the most documented rock paintings in Uganda. We are here to inspect this site and see the value of it for tourism. And from the history of this place, this is going to be very interesting for us uh, to promote our cultural heritage uh, both to the Ugandans and the international visitors. Radiocarbon dates so far indicate that people lived in this area between 1,000 and 5,000 years ago. How you see this and these white paintings basically they are all uh, below 2000 years before present and the red paintings are the ones which are above 5000. Unique tourism products such as Nero rock paintings need a strong marketing strategy, resources and other amenities to attract wide attention for it to become economically viable and be able to sustain itself. With the tourism uh, it is a it, it, it takes time for you to promote and make it attractive. Because imagine we have many people here who would have loved to see this, but they don't know whether it exists. So the few people who come and explore here are those ones maybe who have access to, to reading or to viewing certain films and so forth or videos. Washaki also gave this candid view on the government proposal to reduce funding to the tourism industry in the 2023 stroke 24 financial year. Uh, what would, would be my view uh, that uh, as, uh, as government plans to reallocate resources because of the, of the, the economic problems we are facing, should, uh, should look at tourism as one area we should invest more. Because for it, even if it is raining or it's not raining, still it can attract uh, income. Currently, the Department of Museums and Monuments is laying out a series of activities aimed at improving the management and conservation of the cultural and heritage sites in Uganda. Denis Igoa and Samba Juma for UBC News.